Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we've got some bad news. This is effectively an obituary for Cocoon. I always hate reporting on the death of gaming technology, but that's what happened today, so that's what today's news is about. You never heard of Cocoon, no idea what it does, or do you use Cocoon and you're trying to figure out what your future is? We got all that covered and more in this video. Now these are never fun to do. It's fun to do the title graphics, but that's about it. So let's jump in and look at why Cocoon failed, what it was, and what the future holds for Cocoon developers. So first First off, Cocoon has been around for quite a while. I've been following and reporting on it on Game From Scratch since uh, March of 2013. And you can see this news report here was about WebGL acceleration coming to iOS and Android. And that's a big chunk of what Cocoon is all about. Cocoon is uh, at least started life as a fast embeddable web browser with full GL acceleration. So what they would do is they would provide um, native quality support for things like uh, 3D acceleration, uh, uh, controller support and so on, camera support and that kind of stuff. So they were kind of a dedicated hosting environment for fast HTML5 applications. So the whole idea here is that you could write your game once using uh, HTML5 and JavaScript, and then you could deploy it to as many platforms as you want with as much speed as possible, thanks to running or hosting in something like Cocoon. Now, when I say something like Cocoon, I know this is gonna sound awfully familiar to you. Well, this is the same basic concept or premise as say Electron or probably more important, Apache Cordova. And that's probably a big part of the reason why Cocoon is no longer as successful as they hoped for, uh, because uh, Cordova kind of won in this space. If you are porting your um, HTML5 app to mobile platforms, but you want it to be an app instead of you know a website, you use Cordova. Cordova just kind of won in this space. And in fact, they kind of made it so that you could um, powered by Cordova with their own web acceleration on top. So the downside is people supporting over to Cordova from Cocoon are gonna probably see a degradation in performance because of this announcement, which is unfortunate. So let's get into first off exactly why Cocoon shut down. And the thing they haven't mentioned is probably Cordova. That's not here in the article anywhere, but instead what they say, it is deep regret that we announced that we will stop providing our beloved service Cocoon. We started Ludi, which is way too close to Ludite, which always struck me as a weird name for a company if that was in the technology space. Anyways, we started Ludai uh, slash Cocoon because we believe the future of app and game development would be based in HTML5. Unfortunately, it didn't happen and native development is stronger than ever. And there's some reality there too, because if you think about it, in 2013, it wasn't so clear how dominant Unity and Unreal and similar game engines would be. This one click to run on as many platforms as possible with even better performance than what you would get from an HTML5 that was accelerated, that didn't help either. Uh, and now that you, something like Unity is completely ubiquitous, uh, why would you do your cross-platform game elsewhere is kind of the harder sell they've got. Uh, Along our journey, we have laughed and cried with you and learned valuable lessons, and it is now inevitable to wind down the service as we never managed to make it profitable. And that is a very legit reason to shut something down. If you're not making money, so be it. So unfortunately, there don't seem to be open sourcing this or anything like that. The technology is not going back to the community or it's not being put into Apache Cordova. It just seems to be just dying, which is a bit sad. Uh, it's been a long journey and we sincerely thank each one of you for your years of love and support to Cocoon. And then we've got Migration Guide. Uh, if you want to port your Cocoon uh, game or application over to using Apache Cordova. Now, here's the downside. They have given you a very short window to get off a of cocoon. And this is almost shamefully short. They're looking at today is the day of the announcement. So we've got uh, February the 4th, 2019 uh, service announcement, uh, notice of cocoon service discontinuation and no more billing. And then on the 11th, so in just under a week, you're not going to be able to compile your code anymore. And then a week from that, you're not going to be able to log in anymore. And then a week and a bit from that, uh, basically, the service is toast, customer service is gone, and yeah, it's the end. So if you're using Cocoon and you need to move to Cordova, you have a very, very short window of opportunity to get your stuff off of their servers, whatever is actually on their servers. Now, I'm assuming in most cases you would have uh, your own build environment set up on your local machine and whatever. So it shouldn't be a huge deal moving over to Cordova from uh, Cocoon. But unfortunately, again, you are probably going to see that degradation in performance. And they have set up a migration guide. So if you're interested in learning how to move from Cocoon IO over to Apache Cordova, they do have a step-by-step -step instruction on getting things moved over. Um, 
it's, it's not that long or hard. And you also see they've got other options instead of just Cordova. There's also PhoneGap, Ionic Framework, and Monica. Monica? Monica? Anyways, uh, there are other options out there. So, you know, you're not host. This is, again, the strength of developing for HTML5 is that it's in HTML5. So the container you use, be it Cordova, be it Cocoon, be it um, any of these other alternatives, it shouldn't make a huge difference other than you might have to do some performance optimizations because your, your product is not going to run as well on a non-accelerated or less accelerated or less performance uh, focused host. Uh, but I actually don't know. I haven't done, and this is something I was meaning to do for years and I never got around to it, is a performance comparison between uh, Cordova and Cocoon and PhoneGap, those are probably the three big players. I never actually did find out which one performed best. I've read, I've read a lot of anecdotal evidence and I know there is a pretty massive performance difference between each platform, but it's not always as a plus. So it'll be interesting to see people using HTML5 as their platform that we're using Cocoon. Are you gonna get the same level of performance out of these other platforms? Like I said, be interesting to find out. And I'm also kind of interested in what your guys' opinions are on this whole, um, HTML5 was the future, isn't the future. I actually think HTML5 is really successful. Web games, or Flash games are basically dead, and you're going to see HTML5 games be the predominant player in that space. It took a long time, but... So HTML5 makes a whole lot of sense in the browser. HTML5 outside of the browser has kind of seemingly never made sense, uh, at least to me. So I, I, I think that they just kind of made a bad bet on this one. And, uh, you know, who would have foresaw that, again, Unity would have came as profound as it was and so on. But are you writing your games? I, I would never recommend someone wrote their game HTML5 slash JavaScript first unless their primary target was the browser, in which case go for it. There are some great frameworks out there like Phaser that I highly recommend. Uh, there's uh, Babylon JS, there's Play Canvas. There's some great tools for creating games using HTML5. And I'm not dumping on HTML5, but if your intention is to make a game for Android or iOS or really high performance PC, don't don't create an HTML5. And I think that's ultimately the end problem here. But I'd love to know your opinion on that. Are you developing a game in HTML5? Are you staying away from it? And if so, what reasons? All right, so that is the end of the obituary. Uh, Ludai, sorry to see you're lost here. Uh, sorry to see Cocoon go. Uh, and to the developers that are currently out of luck, meh, sorry for your luck. All right, talk to you all later. Goodbye.